Welcome to Lab and Sci Projects. Uh, today I will be showing you a very cool robot arm, which I like to call the Elephant Tusk. Um, this is a cool lab made by my Cobot uh, Laboratories. Uh, this robot is very unique in the sense that um, by you just moving the hands and the different joints, you can actually record the motion and then um, do a, play, a playback to uh, have the robot mimic all the motions that you've recorded. So um, this is how it functions. Uh, first, I have to power it up. And if you look right there on the um, on the screen, you see instructions. It has um, instructions on how to uh, get the robot to function. So uh, first, I want to put it in record mode. Uh, while you are in record mode, you select the file in which you want to um, record. So there are two files there. You have the file that says RAM and um, the flash. So I would like to record in my RAM file. So I push RAM and then um, I go ahead and now it's on recording. So I move the hand. So one motion, two motion, three and four and then five six and seven eight and nine so here i have just gone three uh, nine different motions of recording so i say uh, save so now the system saves my recorded uh, motion and i can go back and ask it to play back the motion I recorded it in RAM and I want it to play back. So play, play RAM. Yeah. Now this is a very cool, interesting robot you could use to teach um, the whole concept of um, artificial intelligence. You notice by me moving the arm and recording, the robot system recorded all that motion and now it's playing it back, uh, mimicking the motion. Now it's going to keep playing until, keep playing and uh, playing back the motion and carrying out the different movements until I ask it to stop. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna ask it to stop. So stop and right there it stops okay um, I'm still gonna be talking more about this uh, cool robot um, how you can also write your own program and get it to uh, do other functions uh, there is a lot of projects we'll be doing with this um, robot so watch out um, for this in my next videos All right, um, <clears throat> again, let's try something else. Uh, I mean, let's try again. Let me see if we can go back and 
there we go we have it so the interesting thing with the the robot is that it can store uh the last uh motion that you asked it to do okay until you erase that motion or use another motion uh to override whatever motion you've um you know uh, uh programmed into it before Pretty interesting. So um, you've seen the interesting motion that the robot is making. So like I said um, in upcoming um, videos, we would explore more as to um, what are other functions, what other applications, uh, things we can have this robot do. Okay, uh, this is um, an excellent uh, robot you could use with um, kids for uh, project based learning explore more things you can do with the robot okay would we'll, uh, be talking about that in our next uh, upcoming videos Stop right there.